Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Today we've got this fantastic video. German houses versus American houses. Ten major differences. I wouldn't have known there was even one difference. Other than apparently a lot of people don't have AC. I learned that last uh, video. But besides that, I don't know. How are y'all living over there? Let's find out. If you're an American and you're thinking about moving to Germany, I'm gonna share with you 10 differences between German houses and American houses. Cool. What's up everybody? I'm Steve Miguel and you're watching XP Life Now. Heck On this yeah. channel, I share with you new things I'm that I learned. skip ahead a little bit. German houses are- All right, number one. Well, the first major difference is actually not in the house at all. German houses are okay. typically <laughs> close together in a community. So I've noticed that in the videos, uh, some of the screenshots of like the landscapes and the, the neighborhood, the villages, it looks like. They're almost like built into each other. They look completely different. The houses are like different colors, but they're almost like, they look so close, they're almost built together. Very interesting. Since I've been here, I've never seen a house that was just off by itself. Compared to the US, hmm. it's very common for houses to be separated by a kilometer or sure. so. Especially- No, I mean, there's neighborhoods. I could turn my camera around right now, but that would mess everything up. But point is I'm looking out my window Th those two houses are like maybe 50 feet apart. Maybe some neighborhoods more. As you get into the more wealthy neighborhoods, they're they're a little further apart. Then if you go out in the country, you can find houses that are, you know, m a mile apart from other houses. Um, big variance, big variance in how far apart they are. In rural areas like in the South, the second major mm -hmm. difference is German houses tend to be built up. I've never seen a house that was oh. only one floor. Uh, typically, it's at really? least two. Really? Never seen a single house. That's so crazy. I'm Right now, my house is one floor. Every house in this neighborhood type thing is uh, one floor. That's interesting. So they're they're trying to use the space, space a little bit more efficiently, huh? Two floors. The house that I live in is one floor. Uh, typically, it's at least two floors. The house that I live in is actually three floors versus in the huh. U.S. It's very common to find houses that are only one floor. Yeah. The third major difference very is common. the carport. For German houses, it's a common thing to have the carport separated from the house. Sometimes you'll have one like mine where it's just a cover. Um, other times you'll actually have one that you can close. Now this is different from the U.S. where the garage is usually a major piece of the house and it's actually attached to the house. Mm -hmm. um, it also- I mean, I happen to live in a house that does not have a garage or a carport. It's just a driveway. Uh, but yeah, mm, a lot of people have garages. It serves as- They would usually be attached. Sometimes they're detached. That's another point of entry into the house. And typically they're made to fit one or two cars. Yeah. So the I mean, first that's a that's a nice house right there. Into the house. That's like and typically that's like way upper middle class right there. They're made to fit right one or two cars. So the fourth major difference between German houses and American houses are the doors. The only way to lock the doors in German houses are <laughs> with the key. Another thing to note is that if you don't have your key when you go outside, you could potentially be locked out of the house because as you can see, most doors don't have any kind of doorknob. So when you close- What the heck? <laughs> Everything about that door is different. This is a normal door? Another thing to First of all, we don't have door handles. You would see that like in a, in a, uh, if you're going to a, Hmm, I don't know. Where would you see that? I guess like in a public building, you would have something like that, maybe. Like that. But in a house, almost always you'll have a doorknob. Now on the outside, at, at like a really nice house, they might have like a handle that you click down and pull. No, is but that if you don't have out right here, when you go outside, I've never seen you could potentially be locked out something of Something like house that on a house. As you can see, most doors don't have any kind of doorknob, so when you close it, it's it's shut, and you have to have a key in order to open it. What? What? So, 
even if you, it just locks by itself. Am I understanding this right? He just, so when you close, you close the door behind you. There's no way to unlatch it from the outside unless you have a key. How would you let, so you can't ever be like, yeah, come on in, it's unlocked. You could never be like, hey, neighbor, I left the door unlocked so you could go feed my cat. Just open it. Weird. Close it, it's, it's shut and you have to have a key in order to open it. Or the fifth major difference between German <laughs> houses and American houses is the heating. In my house and in most German houses, you have radiators to okay. heat the house up. And what's cool about these things is they're all throughout the house in every single room and you only heat the rooms that you yeah. are in. For example, I spend most of my time downstairs, so I almost never turn on the ones on the second and third floor, including the bedroom. To be honest, you'll only find that like in an pretty much in a apartment, like a honestly, like an older apartment, you might you'd have a radiator potentially or like an old hotel um, room because I like my bedroom yeah. cold. Interesting. The sixth major I difference between might be just because Germany's, you know, got a longer history. Maybe not. I don't know. German houses and American houses are the refrigerators. In most German homes, your fridge won't Where actually look like a fridge, but will look oh. like a ordinary cabinet. That's it a fridge. It does not have a freezer, um, which is something that I think is pretty standard. Um, I've been in quite a few German homes and I have yet to see a freezer. How do you... So you, you, you guys don't eat fr frozen pizza? Like you don't, you can't like, how do you freeze stuff? I'm confused. How do you make ice? Do you not make ice? How do you, how do you, what if you want a frozen pizza? Like you gotta have a frozen pizza tucked away. So, you, so if you know, you don't want to, you don't have anything to make for dinner or something, you can whip out the frozen pizza out of the freezer. Typically that's, all that's, refrigerators within American houses. Y'all need to get with the freezers. If that's true. Will also be a freezer. <laughs> The seventh major difference between German houses and American houses is that German houses don't have closets. So most of the time you have to buy something like a wardrobe in order to store your clothes. In American okay. houses, every single bedroom will have a closet for you to put your clothes in. Yeah, I actually think that is one of the definitions of a bedroom. I'm not saying that like sarcastically. Like in America, if you're selling your house, if the room does not have a closet and a window, it's not a bedroom. So you can't say that it is, like in the listing. Um, it needs a closet and it needs a window. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, but that that's interesting. I mean, that 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 sounds fine. It's just it would need to maybe be a, a potentially. Like the room I'm in right now is very pretty small might look bigger on camera. It's really not very big. It's about 10 feet from here to that wall. Um, if I had to fit a big freaking wardrobe thing in here, that would take up a lot of space. But I guess if um, if it was a little bit of a bigger room, it would be, you know, no, no issue at all. So the eighth major difference between German houses and American houses a are big window. the windows. The first thing I want to point out about the windows are the Rolatins. That's cool. That's cool. Rolatins are these metal or plastic shutters that you can hold up. What just happened? Are the Rolatins? Rolatins are these metal or. First thing I want to point out about the windows are the Rolatins. Rolatins are. Are these metal. Magic. How did that happen? Do you guys just do that all day? Or plastic shutters that you can let either up or down, uh, depending on what you want to do. The and I thing, guess you can let it down. And then can you have the slits like still be open so you can let some light in? That's really cool. I want to point out about the windows is that there are two different ways that you can open them. If you don't want to open the window all the way up so that you don't have to deal with bugs and potentially birds flying in, all you have to do is turn the knob all the way up and the window comes down to about this point. 
even with it like this, I can already start to feel the cool air start to come into the room. But if you want to completely air out the room, the window actually comes all the way open. And all you have to do is turn the knob to the side. And now this is that German engineering right here. This is like some cool, I don't know, both the shades and this mechanism here. Now the window opens all the way. <laughs> That's so cool. To lock it. Just we to... don't have handles on our windows. You, you, would, you would never see a handle on a, on a window. You have to like go up top, go like that and pull it up. Turn it down. Now there's no standard window for American homes. But one of the things that really comes in handy that you find in the US but won't find in Germany are screens. Typically in America, windows will come with screens yeah. in order to keep the bugs out if you want to open it up. The ninth major difference. I wonder why that doesn't seem like something. That's a very easy invention, you know, and it's it, it works. You know, you don't get any bugs or anything. A bird flying in your house. You don't want a bird flying in. I mean, maybe you do. It would cause some entertainment with the kids and stuff, chasing around the bird with a broom. Maybe you do want that. I don't know. I don't get it, though. <laughs> Why don't y'all just put some screens on your... You just don't want to? Does it connect you? Do you feel like it's a barrier to nature? You want to be one with the nature? I, I literally, I, I don't... Interesting. Screens. That's interesting. In order to keep the bugs out if you wanted to open it up. The Maybe you guys just don't have as many freaking mosquitoes. Maybe that's it. Major difference between German houses and American houses are the ceilings. Looking at German houses from the outside, they tend to have very steep chimneys. What? They tend to have very steep chimneys. Okay. <laughs> um, and you actually see that when you go into the house. So you definitely want to take this into consideration when you think about that's the master bedroom. Uh, the different type. It's kind of it's kind of fun. <laughs> the furniture that you want to buy or move uh, over here. There are rooms like that, and honestly, I had never seen them until I moved to the Midwest here in Indiana. Um, they're called bonus rooms, and it's like the room at the top, especially if you yeah, it would be like at least a two-story house. It's the room at the top in there, and you've got the slanted ceilings like this, but most houses don't have any rooms like this. With a, the with a ceiling that difference slants. between German houses and American houses are the bathrooms, um, specifically the toilet and the tubs. Looks normal. Uh, the thing that I want kind to, a couple things I want to point out about the toilet, if you'll notice, it does not. Bro needs to get some new toilet paper. Not have a. Um, back tank to it that is yeah hmm that is interesting visible or um, accessible it's got to be somewhere also, right uh, it doesn't go into the floor and typically what you'll find in that is interesting American houses is you the toilet will be uh, mounted onto the floor mm -hmm. um, and it'll have a water tank in the back another thing I want to point out about the toilet is that German toilets don't have a lot of water in the bowl. Um, the the hole is typically far in, the, like way in the back, and you have like all this flat space uh, in the toilet. It looks normal to me. So um, you have to do it. He's losing me with this one. A really good job aiming, or you're gonna have to use the brush to to clean it. Um, also, yeah, what you have to aim when, I mean, it's, you have to aim when you're sitting down, taking a number two or if you have to brush it. What? What? Can someone confirm this? Really? You guys are in there brushing your, your do down the, down the, with German hmm. toilets, um, they do a really good job. Maybe you guys just get really good at aiming from a young age. Yeah, flushing. I'd be in there with the toilet, with the brush. You'd catch me in your bathroom. I would. That would be so embarrassing to leave like, ooh. Yeah, I'd be in there with the brush trying to get every, everything down. Compared to American toilets. Uh, the toilets in America, when you flush them, unless you're in a, a public restroom, when you flush them, they tend to do um, 
they do this swirl. Mm -hmm. The water comes in and it does this swirling motion yes. um, to drain out. But with German toilets, when you flush it. See, so yeah, I'm not. Uh, that looks like plenty enough water to wash down anything that was in there. So I don't know what he was saying with the with the aiming and the having to use the brush. Uh, that didn't look like that looked fine to me. It just does that. That is more of a public toilet type of thing. I don't know why, but that would look, that is more of a typical public toilet type of flush here in America. I don't know why. And I've never had a problem with anything uh, not going down in German toilets. Didn't you just say that you would need to whip out the brush? As I said, the tubs are different as well. They tend to have these shower nozzles attached to them. Hmm. But as you can see, there is no shower curtain. Hmm. or anything to stop the water from getting onto the floor. Hmm. That is because the shower is oh. actually over here. Question of the day. I was gonna say, you guys just don't like screens and stuff, huh? Not on the windows, not on the, not on the shower. But okay, you got a separate shower. Okay. Yeah. Because the shower okay. is actually over here. Question of the day. What are some things that you liked about German houses that you would like to incorporate into your own? The window. Definitely the window. Um, huh, and um, the interesting design from the out, from the exterior. But um, anyway, that was fun, guys. That was really interesting. Honestly, those are that's that's super interesting. I didn't expect there to be so many interesting differences. I don't. I don't. I think you guys need to get on board with the um, with the freezers and. Maybe put some screens on your windows. I don't know, but maybe you guys just don't have bugs. Anyway, <laughs> that was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, and I appreciate you guys watching with me. Uh, you can subscribe if you want. This is like a German-focused channel, just so you know. Uh, so there's a lot of German content on here. Um, but regardless, I'm just happy you were here today watching that video with me. And I will see you tomorrow.